Hi everyone, it's Jennifer. Sorry, I had to hold this up in order for my camera to focus the right distance. Um, I wanted to share a couple of projects with you um, and a tip as well. And the first thing I want to share with you is this mask that I made for Halloween. Um, it's a little late, but I didn't get a chance to make a video. And I got the mask at um, at, at Daiso. And let's see, these are all Wild Orchid Crafts flowers. Let's see, this is a gear from Tim Holtz, the pack of gears. And I just colored it with gold acrylic paint. And that's why it looks like that. These are some feathers that I got a long time ago at um, Beverly's. It's a craft store, kind of like Joann's. A little bit different. And this is just a charm I had in my stash of beads. It's a little pearl and it has like little antique gold around it. I believe I got this from Joann's. They're like flat back pearls. This is a recollection bling that was, um, it was one piece, but I just cut it, and it had more to it, but I just cut it up because I just wanted it there and there. So it looks like that. And these are the Tim Holtz gears. These are the dies that I got from, uh, the die cuts that I got from the jewel box. And I just colored that with also the gold acrylic paint. And I believe the brand of the acrylic paint is called Golden. So it gives it a really nice, um, finish. And these are Wild Orchid Crafts flowers here. Some more feathers and then some random little bling there, there, and somewhere inside here. And it just ties. It already came with a tie and everything. So I wanted to share that. I'm just like that. It was originally white with a bunch of um, glitter in these kind of flourishy patterns. So I just painted it with acrylic. I just painted it black. That's how you can still see the patterns underneath. But I didn't mind it. So, so that's the first thing I wanted to share. And the second thing I wanted to share is a Christmas project that I did actually. And it's an ornament. And I decorated with a bunch of Wild Orchid Crafts flowers. And some ribbons and some Recollections flowers as well from Michaels. And so there's a lot of stuff here. I won't go into too much detail because then I might take really, really long to make this video. But um, so I recently got some trims from Suha Fuha, I believe. Um, Creative Kelly from Cali, her video, she referred us there uh, on an Etsy shop. And I'll put the link below. And this is one of the trims that I got here, the small rosette trim. And then, so I put a cluster of flowers here in the front. This is from Wild Orchid Crafts, one of their um, butterfly uh, charms, metal charms. And I just painted it with silver. And so, and these are some of the Wild Orchid Crafts skeleton leaves. And I just kind of arranged the flowers and kind of a random order. Well, not really random, I guess. And then these are some little plastic... They kind of look like rocks and crystals, but they're plastic. And the other side, same thing, kind of just arranged it, put some ribbon to fill in the space around here. You can see they did there. And then at the bottom I just put the, the year that I made this. And I uh, just braided some ribbon for the for the little hoop here the dangly thing and so yeah it just hangs like that and I like the way it turned out I also did something on the inside so when you open it here we go I didn't do anything to that side and I got this at Michael's it was like a dollar fifty nine and it's like a plastic ornament and it comes really iridescent like that and so so I did this on the inside. I don't know if you can see that well. Let's see if I can move my lamp. And so these were brads that I just colored silver. And they're little fireflies, one there and one there. These are little wild orchid crafts. Roses there and there. And this is some trim that I got from my local scrapbooking store. 
I don't remember what brand it is, but I remember it being kind of a popular brand. I'll try to find out and uh, update my video below. And it's just like kind of leaves, like a vine. And then this little mushroom here, I painted it. It used to be green. So it used to look like, let's see if I can find it. So it used to look like this. It's little mushrooms. And I just painted it blue and made the little dots white with puffy paint. And I put some like iridescent powder on it. And then this is just some little silver beads that I got as well at my local scrapbooking store. And I got it and it looks like this here. Um, this was only, I don't know how much they run, but this one was $1.49 I think, or $1.50. Something like that. And they're just like silver, I don't know if you can see that, silver beads. I'm going to just put glue on there and just like let it dry. So yeah, and then um, it's not that difficult to close. It's a little difficult just because I, the way I place the flowers, but it's not too bad. It's not impossible to get closed, so yeah, you just close it and like that. And also, actually, when you open it, this kind of works as a stand, so it will stand like that. I don't know if you can see that. So if you're looking at it from this way, you can put like a picture here or a picture even here within the scenery and you could display it on your mantle if you don't have a Christmas tree or if you don't celebrate Christmas but you know you like the idea of an ornament and uh, I'm actually going to be giving away a kit to make this and it comes with everything that I used here to make it including the little mushroom inside the only thing it doesn't come with is these little beads because I wasn't sure how to package those if I figure out a way I might just put them in there but you can use um, I know Wild Orchid Craft carry some some German glass glitter that would probably look even more amazing than this because it's a really shiny. Um, this is just kind of what I had. And so yeah, so you're going to be getting a kit that has all of this, including the butterfly, pretty much everything. I think the only thing that varies is maybe the colors of these, um, of the little cherry blossoms, like slightly. And so I'm going to be giving away this. So it comes like this, and this is what the um, original ornament looks like when you go to Michael's. And I have the tag in case you want to. So it looks like this. I'll read it to you. It's a 80 millimeter ornament ball. And this number here, I don't know if you can see it if you wanted to get it. It's 110566. And like I said, it's like $1.49 or $1.59. So you'll be getting this, and I, will, I won't go through what's inside, but I'll open it. And you can see everything that's in there, if I can get this open. So yeah, I can dump it out, and it's a lot of stuff. I like crammed it in there. And yeah, so you'll be getting all these little things here and all these flowers and most of them are wild orchid crafts except for I think these are recollections these are for Michael's dollar bin and these are recollections but other than that they're all wild orchid crafts so um, and you'll be getting some of the trim from Suha Fuha and it actually comes together like this it originally comes like this together so I just cut it apart so you can put it on two different sides Alright, so um, that's my video, and if you want a chance to win this kit, just leave a comment below, and I'm going to give you, let's see, today's the 9th, I will give you till November, let's say November 17th, I will draw a winner. So November 17th, I'll make a video announcing the winner of this beautiful kit. And yeah, so thanks for watching. Leave a comment below. Please rate and subscribe if you aren't already a subscriber. Um, so yeah, you have to be a subscriber to win this kit. Um, and just leave a comment below. Well, thank you so much. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.